Congratulations, Activision Blizzard. You are now in proud possession of your very own federal probe. <laughs> A oh, one-size-fits-all U.S. government-stamped butt-plug, as the SEC has joined the ranks of various law enforcement agencies investigating Activision Blizzard's uh, strange and uh, disturbing propensity to get a little bit too frisky with female employees. <laughs> that makes, what, four now, I think? Christ. Yeah, setting up shop in California was not a good idea, was it, Blizzard? <laughs> it really was not. Activision Blizzard addresses SEC investigation and departures. Oh yes, speaking of departures, whereas Activision Blizzard has of course been very busy with replacing um, poorly pixelated bikini-clad women with pictures of fruit. <laughs> this thing too. Like, holy shit, this, this is some, like, mid-90s Christian conservative kind of censorship right here. You know, when they take uh, Wolfenstein 3D and turn it into a shooter game where you put goats to sleep with a slingshot. That's what this is. You have not even a particularly sexy picture due to the low resolution, and you go, hmm... This is very problematic. We must replace this with a ball of fruit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But whereas Activision Blizzard is busy fighting the good fight in such regards, their chief legal counsel is out the door. <laughs> I imagine you can't even see the dust clouds. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Now. Bearing in mind there's no indication that uh, this happened because of all the legal actions being taken against Activision Blizzard. For all we know, she'd simply been planning to move on for a very long time. But, well, it's not funnier to assume that it has something to do with the ever-mounting mountain of legal paperwork slowly building its way up at Activision headquarters. <laughs> So what exactly is going on here? So the SEC is um, launching their own probe against them, and I've heard a lot of talk about how this is really serious. Like, There's a federal investigation now. Now they can't go anywhere. They're screwed. No more threats about moving to Texas, which incidentally Activision Blizzard. Uh, maybe you should have thought about that about 10, 20 years ago. But oh well, details. However, I have to... Uh, be the party pooper here and say that the SEC investigation is very unlikely to ever evolve into anything actually criminal or anything court case related. The SEC has apparently uh, been asking for, what was it here? Uh, 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 ah, yes. Uh, the SEC is asking Activision Blizzard to hand over documents including minutes from board meetings in 2019, logs of Cortex communications with other senior executives regarding the complaints of sexual harassment, that is of course Bobby Kotick, the CEO, and the personal files of six former employees. So what this sounds an awful lot to me is that the SEC is looking into how Activision Blizzard not didn't didn't not how they dealt with the complaints themselves because that's not really the SEC's uh, pen, but rather whether or not they effectively communicated the existence of these problems to their shareholders. Because of course, you are required to inform your shareholders of anything and everything that might damage the stock prices and. <laughs> A rampant culture of uh, sexual harassment, uh, gender discrimination, etc. That is rather likely to uh, affect the company somewhat negatively. So if the SEC discovers that the CEO or the top board meetings or any of this has actively been discussing this, or even hell, even acknowledging it, like, oh, we have X amount of sexual harassment complaints, let's just shove that off to the future, and then they never talk about it again, that might very well be something that the SEC can act on. Now, bearing in mind as well, the SEC's style isn't really taking people to uh, to court or anything, you know, uh, criminal in that kind of regard. But they can levy some pretty goddamn hefty fines against companies reaching into the millions of dollars. Now, what's the poor time? I would say that that would be... 
Nothing. To Activision Blizzard. Oh no! A million dollar fine! Whatever will we do? They say as they wipe their hands with a thousand dollar bill streaming on constantly from World of Warcraft. But again, they've been taking hit after hit after hit after hit now for months with a lot of their cooperative partners, a lot of the people they're working with, a lot of deals have started falling through awfully rapidly. As well as, of course, World of Warcraft somewhat... <sighs> Veining popularity? Would that be an accurate descriptor? Perhaps it has been losing out quite a lot recently due to certain competitors, for example, though it is still the absolute king and I dread to imagine the amount of income that it is still producing. But on the flip side, they aren't really making all that much other new stuff either, and that brings us to another interesting point. Of course, the Diablo developer speak on game and company issues. So this isn't Activision Blizzard, as I understand it. They have farmed this out to uh, Vicarious Visions primarily, and they're the ones now talking about it. The allegations still cause the team to self-reflect, so they heard about this and they went, Hold on, could we be attacked in the same way? <laughs> and they did a little bit of an internal audit, etc. And they got back that, you know, it's it's fine. They also then was apparently ordered to scrub a lot of the original content of Diablo 2. So they were trying to look for anything that might be problematic. Um, problematic references, names and quests, and they mentioned that these are being changed in other Blizzard games, referring back again to <laughs> the goddamn paintings. But apparently, they didn't really find anything. Uh, Galani says the checks found nothing. Now, that is a bold-faced lie, in my opinion, since, of course, we have the updated Amazon, which looks like William Defoe. <laughs> Come on, you cannot tell me that that does not look an awful lot like the Green Goblin. <laughs> because it does. Now apparently, quote unquote, this was something that the company themselves decided. Uh, let's see here. Changes includes new looks to the game's characters, including this female Amazon warrior. Her original more sexualized design, you mean looking like a female, has been criticized by some, including a longtime Blizzard fan. It's like... I love it. has been criticized by some, including one person. Right, okay. So what you're saying is, this is not a problem in any way, shape, or form, but you decided to make it a problem, much like you decided to make a bowl of fruit to cut down issue. <laughs> oh, heavens. And obviously, this company, they're currently sitting on Diablo 2, so they don't want to be too strident about it. There's a lot of money for them, there's a lot of potential money. So they're just saying that people should do what they feel is right when considering whether to buy next week's big release from Activision Blizzard. Do what you think is right. God. This, by the way, is why I know that this shit is an internal power play as well. Because you've got people inside of Activision Blizzard, not this guy, mind you, but we've seen previously actual employees going, no, 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 don't boycott World of Warcraft. We still need to earn money. That's far more important to us than the occasional touchy-feely. <laughs> but unfortunately, the power play seems to have gotten a little bit out of hand. After all, if the studio is, uh, don't get any sales, if Blizzard, if, if Diablo 2 Resurrected turns out to, not due to quality issues, but due to PR issues, become a failure along the lines of Reforged, oof. Then you toss on a couple million dollar fines from the SEC, veinings, S, um, uh, S, blah, 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 English is a difficult language, World of Warcraft subscription numbers, that was what I was looking for. I mean, uh... The mountain isn't cracking just yet, you know, Mount Doom isn't erupting or anything, but we're getting there. We are very much so getting there. After all, when you're on the top, the uh, only way to go is down, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Field Marshal Afra, CV. I do love this whole thing. The Schadenfreude just will not cease, honestly. Activision Blizzard has absolutely ruined so many things I've loved, and they haven't produced anything of note for... 
a bloody decade now, probably? Like, I'm just happy that we're seeing the death of them, because honestly, if either, A, Activision Blizzard heals over, God help us all in that case, that would be fantastic, then yay, it opens up a massive hole in the industry that will hopefully be filled by new and interesting real-time strategy games. That'd be fantastic. Not to mention, as well, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, all of this nonsense, Diablo, they've grown into these monolith things. You know, they're not Disney in size, but they've become these established entities. And frankly, more and more that I'm looking at the current state of creativity in gaming, in IPs, in settings, I just want more and more of these established ginormous entities to goddamn die to open up some goddamn space in the marketplace. Particularly bearing in mind the potential threats that they are to new upcoming IPs. Now, to be fair, Activision Blizzard hasn't been quite as aggressive as something like, um... Games Workshop, for example, which is actively trying to murder competing companies by sending lawsuits against them, as with the whole um, Futsal Miniatures debacle. But nevertheless, big settings like these, I don't think they're good for anyone. So hopefully it'll all burn. And if not, eh, maybe they'll move to Texas, <laughs> get a very new kind of people working there. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Until next time, I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Till then, have a good day.